Hey, what's up guys? John here, and on my recent trip back to South Africa, I had the pleasure of spending time with some animals out in the wild. This is the Living with Big Cats Wild Edition Volunteer Program, and it's located near Kruger National Park. This program is all about research and conservation, so you get to spend a lot of time out in the bush. Every morning, we'd start out very early and we'd go on a long game drive. So not only do we get to spend a lot of time doing game drives and seeing the animals in their natural habitats, but we spend a lot of time tracking the different animals and collecting important research data. When you go on a game drive in this place, it's not like going to a safari park or going to the zoo where the animals are in specific small areas. Here, you're truly in the wild, so that means the animals could be almost anywhere. Sometimes we'd use special equipment to try and locate certain animals. And each time you go out, you never know what you're gonna find. So uh, yesterday in the morning, we went out for elephant monitoring. We did not find any, but in the afternoon, we went on a different drive. We did find elephants. That was really, really, really cool. It was amazing. It was a really big adrenaline shot. You get to see them very closely and get to see how they behave. We had a call that the elephants were near one of our water holes and they have this tiny, tiny little baby. So we've got quite a few babies at the minute, but some very small. It was so much fun to watch them run right up to the water and then have a drink, have a play, and then run away again back into the bush. During the time that I was at this program, there was a lot going on. We had different research teams from all over the country. So we helped out with some of the things they were doing, such as clearing the roads in order to put down camera traps to record the different animals. When you're here, there's no animals in captivity, so every animal you'll see is gonna be out in the wild, which means not just looking for animals from a vehicle, but also going on bushwalks and getting to do animal tracking on foot. We went on a few different bushwalks, tracking through the bush and the mud. We even managed to find some lion tracks, so we were very hopeful that we'd see a lion in the wild. When you're at this program, you really do get a wild experience, and part of that experience is getting to camp out under the stars. Volunteers get to go to an area called the bush camp where you experience sleeping in safari tents. Sometimes in the morning you'll wake up and there's animal tracks right outside your tent. We went on a few different night drives and we got to see some of the animals that you typically won't see in the day. And one of my personal favorite experiences, sitting around the fire, cooking outside and having a fry. We'd been trying to find this lion pride and we'd made several attempts. So we went out one morning actually looking to find the herd of elephants, but then we found something truly special. Yesterday we went out on a drive and we heard that the lions had been found, one of our big prides, the Tembi pride. We went and joined in on the sighting and they were actually on a wildebeest kill, which is very cool. So we had three females and ten cubs all feasting on this wildebeest and it was fantastic to watch the interactions between all of them.
I've seen many nature documentaries and videos online, but nothing compares to actually seeing it right there in front of you. If that wasn't already enough, we're then joined by two big male lions. It's great to visit places that take good care of animals who can't go back in the wild. But ideally, wild animals should be in the wild. And that's why it's so incredible to go to a place like this. So if you want to go to a place where you get a lot of game drives, you get a lot of time out in the bush, and you're getting to observe animals in the wild as they are, but you also want to do something where you're contributing to conservation, where you're helping these animals, then this is the place that you need to visit.